Hello and welcome to Call of Plastic. In this episode, we recon the True Heroes 65-piece Military Forces Bucket. In a previous episode, we reviewed the Walmart-exclusive Adventure Force Bucket. In that video, I compared the Adventure Force set to the original Timmy Army Men. But then, one of my subscribers gave me a valuable piece of intel, stating that the Adventure Force Bucket was actually based off of True Heroes. As I followed up on this intel, I discovered yet another set that is practically identical to True Heroes, and that is Hero Force, which is available at Target. Hero Force is owned by Blip Toys and distributed by Target. I reached out to Blip to determine whether or not they had any affiliation with True Heroes brand, and they stated they did not. A link to the Hero Force review is in the description below. True Heroes, on the other hand, is owned by True Kids Brands, which is the successor to Toys R Us, hence the True in the name, TRU. There's a bit of nostalgia that comes along with that. Interestingly enough, Target handles the distribution for True Kids, even though they do not stock the True Hero brand. I'm not one for speculation, but perhaps True Kids and Target worked out some sort of deal. For now, we remain on task. Let's recon. We have a dual purpose lid that can function as a bunker, even though it's rather bland with a glossy finish. The threads on this thing are intimidating as well. When that thing is screwed on, it will not slip at all, I promise. That had to have been the cleanest dump so far. One thing I appreciate is that they packaged the armies in separate little baggies. This makes it a little easier to separate, but you may need some extra muscle to open them. We have tans versus greens, which feature a nice olive drab color. Each side supported by a tank, and there are 21 army men per side. They are accompanied by two flag pieces, three bunkers with the dual battlements, 10 barbed wire fences, and four rock formations. My biggest disappointment with this set is the fact that the figures are random, and those disparities means each side has more or less of the other. As an example, you have five standing green riflemen versus the single tan rifleman. Then the greens have one mortarman versus four on the tan side. As we go to the inspection lineup, we can see a decent amount of detail throughout, but certainly not the greatest. The flamethrower is in a kneeling position, with the flamethrower positioned upward in an effort to get a sufficient arc. The gear is a little more defined as we see shoelacing on the boots. Not a bad looking set. There are a total of 10 figures with this set, however, the green army possesses the lone minesweeper, while the tans do not have a minesweeper. That equates to 9 stances for the tans and 10 for the greens. Now, call me spoiled, but I really appreciate it when companies at least attempt to try to get the same number of figures on both sides. Moving in closer, we see that the machine gun is pointing straight ahead. He lacks the tripod that would normally be present in the Timmy original, but still a very good mold overall. Moving on to the rifleman, we see slight details in the M16 rifle, and all five digits on his trigger hand are visible. The same observation holds true for the sniper and his gun as well. We see a slight degree of detail in his clothing, and it looks like he's keeping it light just like everyone else. And here is the bazooka man who is poised and ready to go. The flamethrower is highly distinguishable from his counterparts with the two napalm tanks and nitrogen on his back. It smells like victory. And for comparison's sake, we have an Adventure Force model on the left and the True Force on the right. 
The side angles are very similar, but straight facing you'll see that the True Heroes model is fuller. We roll on to the tanks. These are based off of the M48 Patton. They feature cannons that are pointed upward, ready to lob heavy tank rounds at entrenched enemies and their opposing tank. The level of detail in these is nice, including bumps and hatches on the turret and other necessary gear along the sides. They're also a decent size compared to the soldiers and allow for a sufficient amount of cover. Now, I would say the True Heroes model is a little bit better than the Adventure Force models here. I still like that matte finish on the Adventure Force models, though. We see this design of tank in a lot of sets, but its clean design around the turret means that these turrets usually spin freely and evenly without any hookups. They're fastened with screws on the bottom, so not as easy to separate the turret from the body. And on a solid surface, these guys will roll fairly easily. And we go on to the props. The two flag pieces stand evenly and are high above the figure's heads. The stickers are a basic green and blue of the True Heroes logo, but they fit perfectly into the insets. This set comes with a total of 10 barbed wire pieces. The unique thing about these is that they are approximately half the length compared to barbed wire fencing of other sets. I wasn't sure how I felt about these at first being smaller, but then I realized that the smaller length means you can create tighter barriers around objects such as bunkers or around the circumference of the lid, for example. We have three bunkers featuring dual battlements. These are a standard size and they easily pass the clearance evaluation as we see that the barrel of the machine guns clear the battlements. The flamethrower can also arc over the entirety of the bunker. Now, these are hollowed on the inside, so if you stack them, you can have a good fighting position for your standing units as well. There are four rock formations that come with this set. They rest evenly on a flat surface, and these provide good cover for prone units and are just tall enough for machine gunners to deploy. This has been the True Heroes 65-piece Military Forces Bucket. A link to the Amazon page is in the description below. And remember, the link to the Hero Force sets is also in the description. There is a 75-piece bucket and also a 100-piece bucket for your reconning pleasure. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what else you'd like to see reviewed. And until next time, my fellow plastic tacticians, play safe, play hard, and always stay frosty.